Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Medici and today I will be discussing two important services uh, regarding security of AWS but this is keep coming in AWS uh, Certified Solution Architect, uh, Architect and Cloud Practitioners exam. Uh, so we need not to know the detail study but we need to at least know what exactly this service does. So the first service is uh, Amazon Guard Duty. So Amazon Guard Duty is a threat detection service that continuously monitor for malicious activity and unauthorized behavior to protect your AWS account workload data story in AWS S3. So it is a continuous monitoring tool and you can just click and uh, can create a guard duty monitor and it will uh, you know uh, search your logs so the logs that are searched by the guard duty is uh, vpc flow logs cloud trail event logs cloud trail s3 event logs and dns log so after checking all these logs you need not to manually input this it will automatically scan and it will generate a detailed report and it will flag uh, the vulnerabilities or the threats based on its severity so uh, that's pretty much about guard duty so let me uh, quickly uh, go to amazon uh, s3 console and try to show you the guard duty so this guard duty is free for first 30 days so uh, so you can use it so okay so guard duty is opened and uh, as you can see i have a guard duty enables and uh, you can see uh, like whether i have something or not so also this uh, like you know this is the high severity and this is a medium severity issue and this is a, a low severity issue so if you click here so you can see there is a uh, vulnerability is found and which is a uh, uh, I think it's a low severity issue so you can uh, go through and can do what needs to be done accordingly so uh, that's all about guard duty and this is free for first 30 days and after that uh, you need to pay so try it for first for first 30 days okay and uh, it is available on US East region also so that's pretty much and uh, the, the thing is that from this report you can you can you can store this report in amazon s3 and you can also uh, you know uh, create a lambda function uh, to post this data to somewhere else and trigger something so everything can be done okay so this is about guard duty and if you want to know more about guard duty you can always visit the aws link where details uh, things are there but for uh, sysops it is very much important to go through but for aws certified solution architect and cloud uh, practitioners uh, just knowing the uh, service itself will, would be the sufficient okay and the then the next one is aws inspector so these are pretty much similar uh, so that might be confused you so you might get one or two question from amazon guard duty or inspector so you need to know so uh, amazon inspector is a automated security assessment service that helps to improve the security and compliance of the application deployed on aws amazon inspector automatically assess application for exposure vulnerabilities and deviations from best practices after performing assessment amazon inspector produced detailed list of security finding prioritized by label of cbt these findings can be reviewed directly as a part of detailed assessment report which is available via amazon inspector console or api so this is pretty much similar but the difference is that if you enable guard duty it will continuously monitor your aws uh, resources by uh, taking the help from the logs but inspector is kind of a schedule assessment so you can run wherever you wish or you can run uh, you know in a schedule time so if i going quickly go to the amazon console you can probably understand the difference and which is required to no so inspector is always i have already have checked so uh, so 
let's like you know you need to uh, install AWS agent on your EC2 instance and then run the assessment and then analyze so if I get started so uh, you will see like you know um, what will be assessed here so it is uh, network assessment and the host assessment so they are asking whether you want to run it once or you are uh, you know running in a schedule uh, like you know schedule weekly whether the schedule duration or you can do advanced setup okay and the pricing is also mentioned so that's about uh, so it will it will uh, share a detailed report and you you, you can uh, like you know share the report to email also so that's about these two services and uh, it's uh, like if you see uh, devops in in the in the option so you can uh, choose aws inspector because uh, devops nowadays aws inspector is being used in devops so this is a basically a schedule scanning tool and this keep checking your resources uh, continuously so that is the two difference now i i got two questions and these questions are from aws certified uh, solution architect exam so we'll discuss those a company plans to use AWS guard duty to detect unexpected and potential malicious activities. The company wants to use Amazon CloudWatch to ensure that the finding occurs, remedi remediation take, takes place automatically. Which cloud feature will use to trigger AWS Lambda event to perform remediation? So this is pretty much uh, straightforward. So they are using guard duty and they want a automatic automated remediation that i told using lambda so what they in you know, the lambda function what uh, trigger they choose so of course it's a event trigger right so this uh, the first one is uh, the correct one and this is not related to guard duty this closer related to lambda but since guard duty was present so i have taken this question so there was one more question an organization wants to be alerted when an unauthorized Amazon EC2 instance in its VPC performs a network port scan against other instances in the VPC. When the security team performs its own internal test and separate account by using pre-approved third-party scanners from the AWS marketplace, the security team also then receives multiple Amazon Guard Duty events from Amazon Cloud Watch alerting on its test activities. How can the security teams suppress alert about authorized security test while still receiving alerts from unauthorized security tests? So they are performing like you know a test and uh, they want to differentiate between authorized and unauthorized they have a guard duty enabled so they want to differentiate between authorized and unauthorized activities okay so then let me let us quickly scan through the options so use filter in aws cartel exclude the ip addresses of the security uh, team ec2 instance so uh, this is probably uh, not be the feasible one so let me go through the next option add a elastic ip address of the security teams ec2 instant trusted ip address list of amazon guard duty okay so the next option is install the amazon inspector agent on the ec2 instant uh, that the security team uses so as I, we have mentioned, we have seen already so if in ec2 instance uh, you need to install an amazon inspector and you know that can be differentiate between a uh, malicious attack and a normal uh, test so this is a straightforward one and then uh, grand security teams ec2 instance role permission to call amazon guard duty api operation uh, so this will be the feasible option in this case uh, so that's all about aws guard duty and inspector so you if you have something to ask do let me comment in the video below and considering subscribing because i will be posting more such videos which will which will help you to pass your certification and i will be posting this uh, pdf down in the video description below you can download it thank you